Michael, you've got a rich history in the FA Cup. How glad are you to be involved in the coverage on BT Sport of it over the next four years? I think it's brilliant news, obviously, BBC and BT joining forces to to show the uh, FA Cup is, is great news. It's um, it's certainly a tournament, as you say, that I've had fond memories of, and I think the, the nation in general, or the world in general, it's um, it's a huge competition. And, um, you know, I think everyone's really excited about the announcement today. Absolutely delighted. I think it's um, I think it's great news, certainly for the BBC, um, to have regular live football during the season, which is something, obviously, we've missed out on the last uh, few years. And it feels like the FA Cup has, has come home. I mean, we've all got childhood memories of the FA Cup final on, on BBC. This is a big moment for us. And I think what's great is um, the BBC is very special at covering big events covering sport, you know, Glastonbury, Wimbledon, the Olympics, because we can bring together people on television, we can bring uh, together people on radio, on local radio, uh, our regional output, and also now on mobile devices, on tablets, on, 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 on phones. And that breadth of coverage, I think, is something that the BBC uniquely can give to the FA Cup, and I think that's really important for the, for the Cup, and, and also for us. You know, BT is a, it's a new channel that's, um, that's obviously going to be out there this season covering a lot of the Premier League and Bundesliga and Italian football just to name but a few um, and now the FA Cup as well um, for five years so it's uh, it's really exciting for, for BT and, and obviously we're, we're hoping to hit the screens and hit them hard and um, yeah we're, we're really excited about you know what lies ahead and it's great to, to be a part of that. We've worked hard actually but we've got a brilliant partners um, and be good money you know, from our perspective, selfishly, we are we set ourselves a bit of a target in the four-year plan, and we're, we're we're ahead of that. So we're we're a good 10% ahead of the budget, which is brilliant for the FA. It gives us that confidence to know that the four-year plan we've talked about that being affordable, everything we want to do is affordable. Well, now we've we've got a bit of extra money, so we'll take our time with 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 how we spend that. We've still got to work out through some of our sponsor arrangements but a good deal a, a, a good financial deal and a really strong deal I think in terms of the partners. I also think it's great for the FA Cup itself I think you know because it'll be our main thing you know it's something that we can nurture and savour um, whereas you know other channels can't necessarily um, make it the most important thing in their portfolio we, we can do that so I think it's, it, it's terrific news and um, good news all around. I uh, am looking forward to sitting down with our sports team, with uh, you, uh, working through how we can really uh, innovate because that's something that the BBC does and does really well. But expect a real involvement at the local and regional um, level through our local and, and, and regional <laughs> services. Real sort of innovation, I think, in terms of what we can do on tablets and mobile uh, devices. And I think you're also bringing, what, what maybe not an innovation, but a fantastic sports team uh, that I think will bring their special uh, uh, qualities uh, to the FA Cup. Well, the BBC can throw everything behind it. You know, the backing we have. Obviously, we, we showed during the Olympics uh, how incredibly impressive our coverage can be. You know, we showed every minute of every sport and event right across the board. And, you know, the way things are sort of developing in the technological world now, um, the things we can do will be great. And we, we can certainly do that with the BBC. It's a really strong piece of work led by Stuart, Mark and Tom in the broadcast team, but with everyone involved from right across the group, from Alistair and his legal team and, and Oscar in particular in the finance team, um, we've done a fabulous piece of work of getting the market excited about the offer. There's a few different things that I'll, I'll be doing, but predominantly it'll be co-commentary. Um, so I'll be doing most of the, uh, the Premier League and FA Cup and um, a couple of UEFA games maybe. So it's, yeah, it's really exciting. I've been doing, I'm down here um, yesterday doing some more practice and getting a few tips and different things on on, um, on how to do it because obviously I'm new to it but I feel really comfortable doing it and hopefully uh, hopefully I can make my mark in the new industry of, of, uh, of commentating on games. And are you expecting a, a Tottenham or Everton win in the, in the competition? Um, it would be nice for one of the ex-clubs to... Uh, or Leicester. Oh, well, Leicester, I think I was dreaming of probably a bit too far but uh, who knows. Um, it's... Uh, you never know with the FA Cup, as we saw um, season pass, didn't we, with um, Wigan winning against all odds. So, and that's part of the um, the allure of the FA Cup, isn't it? That um, the, the occasional upset, um, the big games, um, the underdogs, uh, it's all part and parcel of um, an FA Cup that have obviously been shown for many, many, many years on, on the BBC with, with the odd um, glitches in between where it disappeared for a while. Back home. 
and for ITV, um, the, you know, being the home of England, being able to tell that story right the way through the friendlies and the qualifiers is a perfect fit. So I think it's a, uh, I think it's a great result.